today's class, we're going to be learning about prediction equations. Um, you ever been bowling before? Yeah. Sorry? Awesome. Okay, well if you go bowling, bowling, and if you have, uh, say you get a score, you're not, you're not great, you get like a 1, and then a 5, so you got a total of how much? 6. 6. Alright. Well, say next one you get 3, and then you get a spare. So the way you add that is you take the 6 plus 3, which gives you 9, but since you have a spare, your spare is going to count like your next score over here. Okay, so we can't put our total in here yet. So say you get a uh, 6. So to get your total for this frame, um, and you, yeah, you want to write these down because what we're going to do is we're going to plot these points. Uh, we're going to make a table, we're going to plot these points, and we're going to find a prediction equation because say you just bowled 5 frames, and then we're going to predict where you're going to get for 10 frames because this is something you would do at the bowling alley. <clears throat> so we're going to add these together. So we have 16 plus or 6 gives us 22. So then, say we get a gutter ball here. Bummer. So 22 plus your 6 gives you 28. Next frame, you get a strike. Exciting. You pulled it yeah. pretty hard. So we're going to put an X in here. Well, we can't do your total for a strike until we add these two scores with your 10. That's going to be added to your 28. So say you get um, a 6, and then you get a 2. So unfortunately, you didn't pick up a spare. So what we get is we have your 18 plus your 28. That's going to give you your 46. And then for this frame, you get <clears throat> your 46 plus your 8. Gives you 54. So after five frames, you have a 54. Now what some people want to do is they say, well, my prediction is I'm just going to double that, and I'm going to say after 10 frames, I'm going to have 108. Well, we'll find out. So what we're going to do is uh, if you have your table, so you make your table here. OK. OK, for your x, your x column, you have your frame number. And then your y's, you're going to have your score. So you have a 6, a 22, 28, 46, did a good jump there, and then a 54. So that's your table. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually plot our points. Okay. Okay, we're going to plot our points. So you go over 1, up 6. So probably around in here. There's a point. Over 2, up 22. Wow, nice job. Uh, we're going to have to change our score here a little bit. Actually, let me change our frame because our, our y-axis is not going to work out so well. Because mm -hmm. we need to go to 54. So I make these go by 10s instead. Okay. So I have to make a little adjustment, but that's okay. We like to do that. Um, so this is going to be, we'll go by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. <clears throat> so we're going to plot all of our points again. So over 1, up 6. Be about here. Over 2, up 22. That looks like 23. Cool. That's okay. Uh, over 3, up 28. It's going to be a little above your 22. Um, over 4, up 46. You're going to be here. And then over 5, up 54. That's going to be about here. So what you have to do now is you have to draw a line of fit. So we're going to draw a line that kind of goes through your points. doesn't have to go through any exact point, but it just has to go through your points. So we'll draw something that looks a little bit like that. Ooh. It's about as straight as I can get. Okay, so now we need to choose two points either on or close to your line. So I think this point, and these points are pretty good. You don't really want to use points that are next to each other. What we'll do is we'll use this point and this point. Okay, so our two points we're going to use. 230 and 2, 30 and over 5 of 54. So good. Okay. Um, all right. So we make our prediction equation. So we're going to follow along the lines of y equals mx plus b. And so we're going to type. We're going to plug in our numbers. We need to find our slope. So your slope. M. You just take 54 minus 30. Or 5 minus 2. Gives you a 24 over 3, which is 8. So lovely. We have a nice number here. Uh, and then we plug that back into this equation plus one of our other numbers to find out what your b is. So say we plug in, let's use 2 and 30. So we're going to say y is 30 equals our slope, which is 8, times 2, plus b. So if we solve this equation, you get 16 plus b, subtract 16, 14 equals b. Here's your slope, your equation, y equals 8x plus 
14. So what we're going to do with this equation then is you're going to predict your score after 10. Frank, so what are you going to do with your 10? Plug it in. Plug it in for which one? Y or X? X. X. We're going to say Y equals 8 times 10 plus 14. So we're going to say y equals 80 plus 14, which is 94. So that's going to be your predicted score after 94. Now, does that mean that's where you're really going to score? No. No. Was it close to our, I mean, well, we kind of estimated just multiplying this by 2, right? Mm -hmm. So that didn't really give us like a 108. So that's how you find a prediction equation, use it to predict values. Exciting, right? Yeah. All right, okay, so what you need to do is you have your ball aimed that way and you're gonna knock down your 10 pins. Okay, okay so you need to draw your app or you need to draw your draw a straight line. And then once you're ready, hit your play button and see if you can knock any over. Oh, oh just got one. So we need to put up the one here. So we'll bring that back, we'll get that one out of there. So you get a one. Okay, so we'll leave that one out. We'll go ahead and bring that back to the back. And let's make sure it's lined up. So you hold this and get it so that blue dot's facing you. And it's not. There we go, now it is. So you can draw blue or draw blue line again and then hit the play button. And oh, oh knocked over three more. Alright, so we got three here. So you got a total of four. And we're gonna do this for five more frames. Okay. Okay? Sound good? Mm -hmm. It's a little more fun than paper, right? Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's try it one more time. Okay. Oh, I think I'm missing a can. Oh, wait, no, no. no there we go. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we can right, hold this. Yep. There you go. Try to move it the other way. So it's facing you. Try one more time. So you can get the pins in the right spots here. There we go. Oh, wait. Line her up. You're not very good at bowling. I thought you were better than this. No. Hit play. Oh, another gutter. <laughs> we need the bumpers for you. Shake that over here. Let's read it. Boys and girls, please excuse the interruption. We'd like the following Every... friends to come to the office when the bell rings Grace Milligan, Broderick Yo. Ramsey, Brayden Ramsey. Janelle Stevenson, Mark Dole, Taylor Spear, Kara oh. Bailey, Brianna Ortega, and Cameron Johnson. I'm on Oh, up. man. That's okay. That's okay. We'll give you bumpers next okay. time. Okay. Okay, so we have your full, uh, we have your frames all done. You bowled with the Sphero. Uh, a little more exciting. So what you can do is you have your table. We plot your points. So we're going to have, we're going to make a line of best fit. We're going to draw your line of best fit. And that's not great. It was a little better. Um, once we get your line of best fit, we're going to just use your prediction equation. So, actually, once we have this table, we're going to create this table in your Desmos app. And then once we get in your Desmos app, we're going to find your equation and we're going to predict your score for 10 frames. So, we'll see if that works out a little bit better this time. Okay, so we open up the Desmos app. And here you're going to hit the plus button to add a table. And when you add your table, it already has the one, two, three, four, five for your frames. And then in your Y column, we're going to need to type in your scores that you received after each frame. So after you get your table filled in, click down below and we're going to type in Y equals MX plus B. This is a slope intercept form of your prediction equation. So we get your prediction equation. Um, it is going to ask you the question to add all sliders. So click on that blue button, and that'll give you a slider for your slope and for your uh, your M and for your B, which is your winder set. So when you adjust that and use your sliders, that is going to move your equation around a little bit. And so you may have to make an adjustment on the M to make it a little bit bigger. But get your M about going through some of your points. You may have to start adjusting your B then next. And once you adjust your B, 
then you may have to go back up and change your m again. But once you do that, once you get your equation going through your couple points, that's going to be a prediction equation that you're going to be able to write down on your paper. And this prediction equation will be used to help you figure out your score after 10 frames.